<laughs> oh dear, George has dropped his sponge in a muddy puddle. George, you're making the car all muddy again. <laughs> I will wash the mud off. Pepper, don't use the <laughs> muddy water. Oh dear. Pepper has thrown the muddy water all over the car. Oh. Never mind. We can use the garden hose to clean it off. Yes, yes. Can I hold the hose? <laughs> Pepper holds the hose. And Daddy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> no need to panic. Oh dear, everyone is wet. <laughs> At least the car has been washed. We've all been washed. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig has made the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber into a salad. Grandpa Pig, can you call everyone to lunch? Lunch! <laughs> Granny Pig has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad, made with Grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Chuck in, everyone! <laughs> George has eaten his pizza, but George does not like the tomatoes, or the lettuce, or the cucumber. Oh dear, George, don't you like the salad? No. George, just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck! George, this is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Yeah. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. <coughs> oh, now, now, George. <laughs> Look what I'm doing. Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. This is the tent I had when I was a little boy. Daddy, how are you going to make that into a tent? Don't worry, Pepper. I'm an expert at camping. <laughs> Mummy Pig, put the tent on the poles, please. That's it. Easy as pie. Ooh. Do these pegs do anything? Of course. I forgot about the pegs. The pegs hold the tent up. There. <laughs> the tent is a bit little. It was big enough for me when I was a boy, but it does look a bit small now. That's because you've grown a bit since you were a boy, Daddy Pig. And your tummy has grown the most of all. <laughs> oh, talking of tummies, we should cook supper. Yes, yes. First, we have to collect sticks to make a fire. Yippee! Pepper and George are helping Daddy Pig collect sticks for the campfire. George, I'll pick up the sticks and you can carry them. <laughs> Collecting sticks is fun. <laughs> Good. That's enough sticks. That's a splendid campfire. Now I'll light it. Here are the matches. Oh, oh we don't need matches. Daddy, how can you light it without matches? I'm going to make fire the old way by simply rubbing these two sticks together. Daddy Pig is rubbing the two sticks together to light the campfire. Where is the fire, Daddy? Nearly there. Hooray! Oh, easy as pie. <laughs> We're 
we're going to make Peppa and George finger puppets. First of all, we're going to cut the sticker just under the waist. And we're going to put the George pig sticker on a blue card. Peel it off. And stick it up the top. Now, we're going to cut, cut, cut. Careful. Cut around, leaving room below the sticker for your finger holes. Oh, careful, George. Then you need an adult to help cut the finger holes out with a craft knife. Use Play-Doh underneath. That'll help with the safety. One little finger hole. <laughs> Two finger holes. Look! A George Pig finger puppet. <laughs> We stuck some little football boots on our fingers to make them look the part. Whee! <laughs> Catch the ball, George! Oh, over here! Over here! Peppa and George. Finger puppets. <laughs> How cool! Kids, today we're going to read a story. Peppa plays football. It's a sunny day, and Peppa Pig and Susie Sheep are playing tennis. To you, Susie, cheers Peppa, hitting the ball. Now it's Susie's turn. To you, Peppa, she cries, hitting the ball straight over Peppa's head. Oh dear. Mwah. George feels a bit left out. Sorry, George, says Peppa. You can't play tennis. We only have two rackets. George can be the ball boy, cheers Susie. Being a ball boy is a very important job, George, says Peppa. Peppa and Susie are having lots of fun, but they keep missing the ball. Ball boy, they shout together. George is not having fun. He keeps running to get the ball and he's very tired. Hello everyone, cries Peppa when her friends arrive. We're playing tennis. Can we play too? asks Danny Dog. There aren't enough rackets, replies Susie Sheep. Let's play football then, says Danny Dog. Football, hooray! Everyone cheers. We can play girls against boys, says Peppa. Each team needs a goalkeeper, says Danny Dog. Me, me, shouts Pedro Pony. Me, me, cries Rebecca Rabbit. Pedro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit decide to be the goalkeepers. The boys team will start, says Danny Dog. Richard Rabbit gets the ball and runs very fast. Right by Peppa Pig, Susan Sheep and Candy Cat. And straight up to the goal, cried Danny and Pedro together as Richard Rabbit kicks the ball straight past Rebecca Rabbit and into the net. The boy is a winner, cheers Danny Dog. That's not fair, we weren't ready, moans Peppa. Rebecca Rabbit picks up the ball and runs. Hey, shouts Danny Dog, that's cheating, you can't hold the ball. Yes, I can, says Rebecca. I'm the goalkeeper. Rebecca throws the ball into the goal, straight past Pedro Pony. Goal, she cries. That goal is not allowed, says Pedro. Yes, it is, says Peppa. No, it isn't, barks Danny. What a lot of noise, snorts Daddy Pig. I'll be the referee. The next team to get a goal will win the game. 
Richard Rabbit and George run off with the football while everyone is still talking. Where's the ball? asked Pepper. But it's too late. Richard Rabbit kicks the ball straight into the goal. Past Pedro Pony. Hooray! The boys win! cries Danny. Football is a silly game, sighs Pepper, disappointed. Just a moment, says Daddy Pig. The boys score in their own goal. That means the girls win. Really? gasp all the girls. Hooray! Football is a great game, cheers Pepper. <laughs> Everyone laughs.